Hey guys and gals. Um, thought I'd share with you a little event that just happened. Um, Saturday morning, two people come knock on my door and they want me to go to their church. Big surprise. It's an older man and his son. And he's trying to hand me a piece of paper which has got a hand with a nail shoved through it. It's just, it's just lovely. And, uh, yeah, he, he says, you should come to our church. And I'm like, no, thank you. No, thanks. I, not for me. And he's like, oh, oh, okay. Well, well, what church do you go to then? What, what, where's your church? Maybe we could swing by sometime. We could, we could get together. And I'm like, oh, no, thanks. I don't, I don't go to church anymore. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I used to be lost too. And, and, you know, I was, I was raised in this cult and I was just a stupid Mormon. And, which is odd that he would say that. You can still, they still believe in Jesus. They just have little extra story behind it but so he's kind of ranting about his his upbringing and how they brainwashed him into being this Mormon and he's he was lost and it caused all sorts of problems until he was fixed and 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 Jesus you know saved him and it saved his son and, and all that stuff and I'm said I said that's wonderful I'm, I'm glad that you're happy now and um but you know it, it's not for me and he said well why would you choose to do that why would you choose to reject God, why would you choose to embrace the devil? And I said, well, what makes you think I embrace the devil? The devil is a ridiculous idea to me. He said, the devil is all around. It says so in the Bible. And, and I said, yeah, that's okay. And, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to reason with this guy, so I just kind of started nodding my head. It still bugs me that I, I do that. I, I, I don't want to fight, but these guys are going to be unreasonable, and they're going to go door to door, and they're going to spread this shit like a virus. Um... So he starts to tell me about Jesus as if I didn't, you know, know about him. And he's like, Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. And his eyes start to well up. And I said, look, I'm, again, I'm, I'm glad that it means so much to you. I'm glad that you're, you're happy now. Um, and, and I can see that it, it's, you know, it means a lot to you emotionally. And he got mad. And he said, emotional? No, man, this is personal. Jesus did this for me. Jesus loves me. And it's, you know, they, they, you gotta, you got to wise up, man. The next life, you got to be ready. This life is just a vessel and no, 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 And I said, look, okay, that's enough, man. I'm, this life is the most important one to me. And uh, he just completely disagreed with it. It was just, this life is just this temporary thing. And you got to do what you got to do to get to all eternity. And, and such a mentality seems to only be little life. You're not living for your friends and family and to make the world a better place or, you know, make, make it a little better than when you came in. You're living for a, a prize in the sky. I don't get it. But he was, he was very happy up until that moment. He told me that I was poisoned. And I have been poisoned. And I'm going to poison other people. I said, okay. And he held his son. I mean, he really embraced his son. I clearly broke this man's heart. I wasn't mean. And he tried to get me to take the piece of paper anyway. I said, look, no offense, but it's, it's a waste of paper to give that to me. You know, he could, he could recycle it. He could give it to somebody else who would actually go. He could wipe his freaking ass with it, and, and it would still be more useful than giving it to me because it's going to go straight in the trash. But that was, that's what happened today. Yeah. I'm back. He came back. I had an appointment to go to some hours after he came here, and I go to leave the door, backpack in hand, and they are approaching the door. They, he, his son, and I think three other people, a total of five people. And he is like in, almost in tears, and they are, you know, that crazy church smile that goes on. Um, fuck, man. It was intimidating. Uh, they were wanting to pray for me. Um, I said, I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't need your prayers. Go ahead and do it, you know, but I got places to go, and I'm, you know, trying to get out of there. And they block me. And I got scared, because these, I think these people are nuts. I didn't know what to say. I just kind of sat there, and I listened to them. And they told me how I was in great peril, how I risked damnation for all eternity, and how I'm dangerous. I have no moral compass. 
What's to stop me? And what's to stop you from raping and murdering and all this, all this stuff? Disgusting.